Hello, this is Dylan Panko with another quick tip from bungalow to go On this episode here, we're going to talk about hooking up your telephone and TV coax to your tiny house. Now, this is real simple. On the inside, we have an electrical junction box that we put our wires through. This is an RV cover we found online, real inexpensive, that the electrical or the wires for the phone connect to the back, and the connector for the coax simply threads on in the back side also. Then when you're ready for transit, you can simply close these doors and keep out water, dirt, debris, and bugs from inside your walls. But when you get to your d destination, open this cover up and you're ready to plug in to the rest of the world. Now let me show you the inside. Okay, so here's the inside. This is the junction box where everything splits off and branches out. So we remove this cover and this box is installed very easily. We cut a hole in the wall and use four screws to hold it to the wall. And then there's four more screws, two in the top, two in the bottom that hold this cover plate on. Now, you'll notice we have several pieces of wire coming in for the coax. This is RG6 coax wire, because right now it's the best available. First one is the home run. It's the one that runs to the front of the trailer. Next, it comes into this splitter, which splits it and branches it off to each connection throughout the house. We have one in the office, one in what could be the kitchen, and one upstairs in the loft. Next, we have, we use Cat5e wire, which is the same as Ethernet wire, for our phone lines. We use that because it gives you expandability. You can either use it for wired internet, or you can use it for multiple phone lines if you're going to use this for an office, or use it as single, a single line. Either way, it gives you flexibility down the road. Next, let me show you one of the connections in the wall. Okay, now at the end of the circuit is the faceplate itself, where you actually hook up your phone and your television. So, this one is a single line phone jack. You can get these with Ethernet, multiple phone lines, or in this case, single line and with the coax. These are really simple to install. Let me take the cover plate off and show you. Okay, so here's the inside. We've got an orange low voltage box, which is different than the high voltage boxes because this one's a lot more open and exposed and easier to work with. It's got a big hole in the bottom, big hole in the top, and nothing in the back. Makes it really easy to fish your wires through. Let's start with a piece of coax. This, one, this is a home run that goes back over the junction box I just showed you. What I've done is I've cut to length, and crimped on an end. Then you simply thread the end on to the back side of this plate and that one's good to go. Next, when you strip back your Cat5e wire, you'll find that there's several strands of wire that are twisted together. Because this is a single phone line jack, I don't need the other wires. So I've taken the other pairs, wrapped them around a screwdriver to make them to twist them up and get them kind of out of the way, and I nicely tuck them back into the back inside the box for future use. Okay, now throughout the house I've chosen to use orange and white with an orange stripe to, for my phone line. Now because this is a single phone line, you really only need the two wires. I stripped them back, connected them to the back side, following the directions on which ones to hook up where, threaded them into the back, tightened them down, made sure they were snug, and I'm good to go. Thanks for watching.